order? So yes, I can... you can. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, Mr. Chair, um, the NDP's amendment would amend this bill to provide for a procedure to uh, uh, give Canadians pardons who have been convicted in the past of offences that this legislation would no longer make a crime. And it does so by amending the Criminal Records Act by uh, eliminating the current wait time that's in the Criminal Records Act, which I believe is five years, and also by waiving the fee that's payable in respect of the application. The previous Conservative government uh, lengthened the time you had to wait to apply for a pardon to five years, and they uh, increased the pardon fees to a little bit over $600, both of which have proved to be barriers to Canadians seeking pardons. Um, so my proposal would be to uh, eliminate the waiting period and the fee for those people who have current convictions relating to cannabis that this legislation would no longer deem a crime. Um, the rationale is pretty straightforward. We don't believe that Canadians should be saddled with a criminal record for offences that will no longer be offences under legalization. We would leave Canadians in the perverse situation that someone after July 1, 2018 could validly and legally possess cannabis and use it, but someone could have been convicted two weeks earlier and have a criminal record for five years uh, for doing, engaging in the same act. Um, Given that the discriminatory impacts of the current law are well documented, pardons are an important means of making restitution to those affected most severely by prohibition. Um, I just have a couple of quotes and then I'll wrap up. Um, John Conroy said that the Criminal Records Act is what governs the pardon situation and there have been recent decisions that have pointed out that the ability to get a pardon is determined by the date of the offence. As a result, we've ended up now with a situation where, depending on how old your offence is, different rules apply under the Criminal Records Act compared to what's in the current version of the Act. Dana Larson said, I really think that the legalization of cannabis should begin with an apology to the cannabis culture and to cannabis users for a hundred years of punishment and incarceration and harassment and demonization that were entirely undeserved. I would like to see not only a pardon but an apology and some kind of restitution made. That's uh, perhaps uh, um, much, goes much farther than my amendment would do. And finally, Michael Spratt says, Bill C-45 contains no measures to address the tens of thousands of Canadians who have been stigmatized through the war on drugs counterproductive imposition of criminal records. Those who have criminal records are less likely to be able to obtain employment, housing, cross international borders, and less able to fully engage in educational opportunities. Bill C-45 should amend the Criminal Records Act to remove the unconstitutional retrospective application of the pardon in eligibility period. It should restore pre-amendment waiting periods and a further reduction in the waiting period should be available for individuals convicted of marijuana offences. Currently, 18-year-old first-time offenders who are convicted of simple possession of marijuana the day before C-45 comes into force will be required to wait five years before, before they're even eligible to apply for a pardon. Bill C-45 must remedy the situation. The fee of over $600 that again disproportionately and sometimes unfairly limits the availability of pardons to only wealthier members of society could be dealt with directly in this bill. So Mr. Chair, to conclude, I have taken that direct testimony from Michael Spratt and others and drafted that into language that um, would, would um, uh, provide a, a simple and expedited pathway to pardons for Canadians. If in fact this is ruled out of order or beyond the scope of the bill, then I think it's an egregious um, omission on behalf of this government to bring in legalized cannabis legislation without having thought of the impact on, I don't think it's tens of thousands, I think it's hundreds of thousands of Canadians who currently have cannabis uh, possession records in this country. And um, I would ask that my colleagues support this so that we can uh, on July 1, 2018, not only correct the future going forward for Canadians, but provide a pathway for those Canadians who have been unfairly stigmatized by pardons for what is, in essence, no longer a criminal act. No, thank you very much. But uh, <clears throat> and, and certainly your your proposal reflects some of the testimony we had for sure. But I have here. Uh, uh, as the House of Commons Procedure and Practice Second Edition states on page 766 and 767, 
An amendment is inadmissible if it proposes to amend a statute that is not before the committee or a section of the Parent Act unless the latter is specifically amended by the clause of the bill. Since Section 4 of the Criminal Records Act is not being amended by Bill C-45, it is therefore the opinion of the Chair the amendment is inadmissible, so I'm ruling it inadmissible and we have to move along. But thank you very much. All right, now we go to